Well, Pine missionaries are Catholic priests and brothers who commit themselves to lifelong missionary service. It's not a job that's fit for everyone, but there are still ways that you can help, starting with an event tomorrow night. Here to tell us about it is Father George and Tom Fabry. Good morning. I'm so happy that you are here. We're excited for this event. I'm emceeing the event tomorrow. A lot of people not familiar with what Pine does. Yes, good morning. Thank you for this um, uh, beautiful uh, morning, this uh, uh, interview where we, we can meet uh, you and uh, just to speak about the Pine Missionaries. Uh, PIME stands for uh, Pontifical Institute for Foreign Missions. It was uh, founded in Italy, and as you uh, see, in, uh, Pontifical means under Pope's authority. So Pope wants to send out missionaries to the non-Christian world. And you have been out on several missions. This is where your passion, yes. your heart lies. Yes. You know, uh, once I met one of the priests from uh, my parish, and um, he asked me, uh, he told me, good morning, Father. And I said, I am not father, I am only a seminarian. You know, I was only a student. And then uh, he said, where, where are you working? I said, you know, I'm studying in such and such a, a place. And he said, why did you go so far? I said, I want, I want to be a missionary. And he said, the real missionaries are Pi missionaries. I said, what is Pi missionaries? Come and see. Uh, and then after the um, uh, school, after, after the seminary, I was sent to Cameroon in Africa. And um, it was a wonderful experience, 10 years. And uh, after that service, I was asked to come to the U.S. So 10 years, what do you guys do over there in Africa? Well, uh, we go to the non-Christian world. That means, you know, where uh, the gospel is not shared. And we go also to the poor countries. I reached a village uh, that day. So many people accompanied me. And by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, all were gone. Uh, all were gone. And uh, in the evening, I was all alone in a house, in a small hut, a thatched hut, and there was no light, there was nothing. I started little by little cleaning up, you know, and people saw me working, cleaning, uh, plucking grasses, you know, and they came and helped me, and they asked me who you are. Uh, then I introduced myself. I started visiting families in the villages, poor people, you know, and then slowly learning the language, their language. So that is an occasion, you know, uh, when we go for funerals, when there are dead people. I just go. Anybody can go. Uh, and then they used to ask, Father, please tell us something. Uh, then that was a great occasion to announce the gospel. And then we start helping people. Uh, children come, you know, they need help. They want to go to school. There is no school. We start building schools, you know, forming teachers then clinics, so on and so forth. And so, as you're doing this, you need funding because you're doing all of this incredible work. Yes. You're over there. Tom, that's where you come in. Yes, as uh, chair of the board, uh, we have a group of uh, lay advisors that assist the staff here in Detroit through um, finance um, our, to support our facilities here over uh, behind the uh, University of Detroit and also um, we have a, um, a special events committee that has this event coming up tomorrow evening at uh, 6 o'clock at the San Marino Club. So certainly all are welcome. Uh, there will be some information to, to contact uh, by email or by phone. And um, it's going to be a great event where all can come and certainly learn more about where the work really happens is outside in these 17 countries. And I'm really looking forward to that. I'll be emceeing that tomorrow. We'll put all of our information on that on our website. That's wxyz.com. Welcome. Thanks, Amber.